Financial Freedom Starts Here, A Beginner's Guide to Personal Finance Written by Ronnie Rowland, published by Growth Literacy Lounge Introduction As I sit here, gazing at a blank page, ready to embark on the creation of this book, I am overwhelmed with gratitude. Today, we reach the remarkable milestone of 500 subscribers on our platform. This moment is not just a celebration of numbers, but a celebration of the journey we've embarked on together. As I write this introduction, I want to express my heartfelt thanks to all of you for joining me on this transformative path. Your support fuels my determination to create books that truly add value to your lives. Welcome to your first step towards financial freedom. This book demystifies the process of managing your money effectively. You'll learn how to transform your financial life using basic principles that anyone can apply. Whether you are struggling with debt, saving, or simply seeking a more secure financial future, this guide is tailored for you. Let's start this transformative journey together. With each page, we'll explore the essential strategies and insights that can lead to lasting financial independence. Remember, this is more than just a book, it's a roadmap to a brighter, more secure future. Let's make the most of this opportunity and move forward with confidence and purpose towards financial freedom. Join our vibrant community of seekers and learners by subscribing to the channel. Every subscription is a token of encouragement that fuels our ability to bring you more 401,000 captivating and thought-provoking content. Subscribe, comment, like, and be part of the movement shaping the future of learning and growth. Please let us know what you are struggling with in the comments, as your feedback helps us tailor our content to serve you better. Chapter 1 Understanding Personal Finance Welcome to the first chapter of your journey towards financial freedom. Personal finance might seem complicated, but at its core, it's about managing your money smartly so you can achieve your life goals without unnecessary stress. Whether planning for retirement, saving for a big purchase, or simply trying to make ends meet, understanding the basics of personal finance is your first step. What is personal finance? Personal finance involves all financial decisions and activities of an individual or family, including budgeting, insurance, mortgage planning, savings, and retirement planning. It's essentially about your income, what comes in your expenses, what goes out your assets, what you own, and your liabilities, what you owe. Income versus expenses. Income is not just your salary, it's every source of regular cash inflow, such as bonuses, dividends, and other earnings. On the other hand, you spend money on expenses, ranging from rent and groceries to entertainment and travel. Managing the balance between these two is crucial expenses exceeding income leads to debt. Assets versus liabilities. Assets are things you own that have value, like a home, car, or investments. Liabilities, conversely, are obligations you need to fulfill, such as loans or credit card debt. Financial freedom involves increasing assets while decreasing liabilities, Understanding these elements helps you create a foundation for making sound financial decisions. By knowing where your money comes from and where it goes, you can plan more effectively, avoid common financial pitfalls, and build a secure future. In this book, we'll explore each of these aspects in detail, starting with how to create and manage a budget that fits your lifestyle. A budget isn't just about restricting what you spend money on, it's a powerful tool to help you decide what's important and find the financial stability to support those choices. Now that you understand the essential components of personal finance, let's dive deeper into how to take control of your first budget. In the next chapter, we'll walk through crafting a budget that empowers you to prioritize your financial goals and manage your money effectively. Get ready to transform the way you view and handle your finances. Chapter 2 Crafting Your First Budget Now that you understand the basic concepts of personal finance, it's time to implement that knowledge by creating your first budget. A budget is your blueprint outlining where your money comes from and how you plan to spend it. It's a crucial tool for gaining control of your financial life and ensuring you can reach your goals without unnecessary stress. The importance of budgeting. Budgeting allows you to make informed decisions about your spending. It helps prevent overspending and ensures you can save for future goals, such as buying a home, investing, or retiring comfortably. Consider your budget as a roadmap guiding your financial journey ensuring you're heading in the right direction. Step-by-step -step guide to creating a budget. List your income sources. Start by adding up all your sources of income, including your salary, any side hustles, dividends, and any other regular cash inflows. This total is what you have to work with every month. 
track your expenses. Next, categorize your expenses. Start with fixed costs like rent, utilities, and car payments. Then, look at variable expenses such as groceries, entertainment, and dining out. Be as detailed as possible. Set financial goals. What are you budgeting for? Whether it's paying off debt, saving for a dream vacation, or building an emergency fund, clear goals help guide how you allocate your funds. Allocate your money. Assign each dollar a job based on your goals. Allocate money first towards your necessities, then savings, debt repayment, and discretionary spending. Monitor and adjust. A budget isn't set in stone. Regularly review your budget and spending. Adjust your budget if you consistently overspend in one category or have leftover funds in another. Tools to help you budget. Numerous tools and apps are available to help you manage your budget. Digital apps like Mint, You Need a Budget, or even a simple spreadsheet can automate the process and help you stay on track. Common budgeting mistakes to avoid. Forgetting irregular expenses. Annual or semi-annual expenses like insurance premiums or car maintenance can derail your budget if you're not prepared. Make sure to account for these by setting aside money each month. Underestimating expenses. Always overestimate rather than underestimate. It's better to find yourself with extra money at the end of the month than to be short. Failing to adjust life changes, and so should your budget. Regular reviews will help you stay aligned with your financial goals. Now that you've set up your budget, the next step is learning how to trim unnecessary expenses to boost your savings. In Chapter 3, we'll delve into strategies for cutting costs without compromising your quality of life. Identifying and reducing unnecessary spending will free up more money to save and invest towards your financial future. Stay tuned to transform how you save. Chapter 3 Cutting Costs and Saving Money Armed with a well-structured budget, you're better prepared to take the next step in your financial journey cutting costs, and increasing your savings. This chapter focuses on practical strategies to minimize unnecessary expenses and maximize your ability to save, helping you move closer to your financial goals. Why cutting costs matters. When you reduce expenses, you free up more of your income for savings and investments. This doesn't mean living a Spartan lifestyle instead, it's about making smarter spending choices that align with your financial priorities. Simple Strategies to Cut Costs Review recurring subscriptions Many people sign up for subscription services and then forget about them. Regularly review your subscriptions and memberships and cancel those you no longer use or need. Reduce utility bills. Look at your electricity, water, and gas usage. Simple changes like adjusting your thermostat, fixing leaks, and using energy-efficient appliances can significantly reduce these costs. Shop smarter, use coupons, take advantage of sales, and compare prices before purchasing. For groceries, Plan your meals around what's on sale and buy in bulk when it makes sense. Cut down on dining out. Eating out frequently can drain your budget. You can save considerable money each month by preparing meals at home and bringing lunch to work. Rethink transportation costs. If possible, use public transportation, carpool, bike, or walk instead of driving alone. These alternatives can save on fuel costs and vehicle maintenance. How to boost your savings. Once you've identified areas to cut costs, redirect the saved money into your savings accounts or investments. Here are a few tips to enhance your savings efforts. Automate your savings and automatically transfer your checking account to a savings account. This makes saving effortless and ensures it's a priority. Use high interest savings accounts. Choose savings accounts with higher interest rates to make the most of your money. Save windfalls. Whenever you receive unexpected funds, such as a bonus or tax refund, resist the urge to spend it. Instead, put it directly into savings. The power of compound interest. Remember, even small amounts saved can grow significantly thanks to compound interest. The earlier and more consistently you save, the more you benefit from the compounding effect, where your initial sums and the accumulated interest on them grow. With a strategy for cutting costs and a robust plan for saving more, Establishing an emergency fund is the next logical step in securing your financial health. In Chapter 4, we'll explore the importance of an emergency fund and provide guidelines on how much you should save to protect yourself against unforeseen financial shocks. Learn how an emergency fund can be your financial safety net in need. Stay tuned to ensure you're prepared for any financial surprises life may throw your way. Chapter 4 Establishing an Emergency Fund 
Congratulations on taking steps to cut costs and boost your savings. Now, let's focus on a crucial aspect of financial security, establishing an emergency fund. This fund is a financial safety net that can help you manage unexpected expenses without disrupting your financial stability. What is an emergency fund? An emergency fund is money to cover unexpected life events that can cause financial strain, such as job loss, medical bills, or urgent home repairs. The primary goal is to ensure you can cover these costs without relying on credit cards or loans, which can lead to debt. How much should you save? A good rule of thumb is to save enough to cover three to six months' living expenses. This amount gives you a cushion to weather unforeseen challenges without financial distress. Calculate your essential costs and aim to build your fund to this level gradually. Steps to build your emergency fund. Set a monthly saving goal. Determine how much you can save each month by reviewing your budget. Even small amounts can build up over time. Open a separate savings account. Keeping your emergency fund in a separate account helps avoid the temptation to dip into it for non-emergencies. Look for an account with high interest and no penalties for withdrawals. Automate your savings. Automating transfers to your emergency fund can help you stay consistent and make saving less of a burden. Automate your savings. Automating transfers to your emergency fund can help you stay consistent and make saving less of a burden. Monitor and replenish once your fund is established, maintain it. If you use some of the money, replenish it immediately. The importance of liquidity. Your emergency fund should be easily accessible. Unlike investments that fluctuate in value and may incur penalties if withdrawn early, it should be in a liquid form, like a savings account, so that you can access it quickly and without additional costs. Common challenges and how to overcome them. Building an emergency fund can be challenging, especially if you start from scratch or live paycheck to paycheck. Here are a few tips to overcome these challenges. Prioritize your spending. Always prioritize contributing to your emergency fund over non-essential spending. Increase your income. Consider side gigs or freelance work to boost your income specifically for your emergency fund. Reduce expenses further. Revisit your budget to see if there are additional expenses you can cut. With your emergency fund in place, you'll have peace of mind knowing you're prepared for life's uncertainties. Next, we will tackle another critical aspect of your financial health managing and eliminating debt. In Chapter 5, Learn effective strategies for tackling debt head-on, which will help free up even more resources for savings and investments. Stay tuned to discover how to liberate yourself from debt and move closer to financial freedom. Chapter 5 Debt Management and Elimination Having established a robust emergency fund, you are better prepared to tackle another crucial aspect of your financial health managing and ultimately eliminating debt. Debt can be a significant barrier to achieving financial freedom but with the right strategies, you can overcome it and pave the way for a more secure financial future. Understanding your debt. The first step in effective debt management is understanding your debt types and their terms. Categorize your debts by interest rate and balance focus on high interest debts like credit card balances, as these can increase and become overwhelming. Strategies for reducing debt. Debt snowball method. Start by paying off the smallest debts first, while making minimum payments on more significant debts. As each smaller debt is paid off, you redirect those funds to more enormous debts, building momentum as you go. Debt Avalanche Method Alternatively, focus on debts with the highest interest rates first. This method can save you money on interest payments over time, although it may take longer to feel progress as you tackle more significant balances first. Consolidation If you have multiple sources of high-interest debt, consider a debt consolidation loan. This can simplify your payments and potentially reduce the interest rate you're paying. Negotiate with creditors sometimes. Creditors are willing to negotiate terms, especially if you're facing financial hardships. Lowering your interest rates or negotiating a settlement can make your debts more manageable. Budgeting to pay off debt. Revisiting your budget is crucial when you're focused on debt elimination. Allocate as much as possible towards your debts, even if it means tightening your budget temporarily. Sacrifices made now can lead to significant financial relief in the future. The Psychological Impact of Debt Debt can be as much a psychological burden as a financial one. Managing it improves your financial position and alleviates stress and anxiety, improving your overall quality of life. 
celebrate small victories along the way to keep motivated. Tools and resources for debt management. Utilize tools like debt repayment calculators to plan and visualize your debt reduction strategy. Apps and financial planning software can help track your progress and adjust your plan. With a plan to manage and eliminate your debt, the next step is to explore investing to grow your wealth. In Chapter 6, we'll introduce you to the basics of investing, helping you understand how to make your money work for you. Investing is not just for the wealthy, it's a powerful tool for anyone looking to build a secure financial future. Stay tuned to learn how you can start investing, regardless of the size of your portfolio. Chapter 6, Introduction to Investing With your debt management plan in motion, it's time to shift focus toward an equally vital component of financial health investing. Investing is not just for the affluent, it's a critical strategy for anyone aiming to grow wealth and secure a comfortable financial future. This chapter will demystify the basics of investing and show you how simple it can be to get started. Why invest? The primary goal of investing is to put your money to work in one or more investment vehicles to grow your money over time. Whether for retirement, education, or other financial goals, investing can help you achieve your objectives faster than merely saving. Understanding different types of investments. Stocks. When you buy stocks, you're purchasing a share of ownership in a company. Stocks are well known for their potential for high returns but come with risk, as their value can fluctuate significantly. Bonds. Buying a bond means lending money to a corporate or governmental entity that borrows the funds for a defined period at a fixed interest rate. Bonds are generally safer than stocks but offer lower returns. Mutual funds. These are investments pooled from multiple investors to purchase a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, or other securities. Professionals manage mutual funds, reducing the burden on individual investors to pick stocks. Exchange-traded funds ETFs, similar to mutual funds, are collections of stocks or bonds that trade on an exchange like stocks. They offer the diversification of mutual funds with lower fees and more flexibility. The basics of risk and return. All investments carry some level of risk. The key to successful investing is understanding the balance between risk and return. Generally, higher-risk investments offer the potential for higher returns. Your investment choices should reflect your risk tolerance and financial goals. Getting started with investing. Start small. You don't need much money to begin investing. Many platforms allow you to start with small amounts and grow your investments over time. Diversify. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spreading your investments across different assets can reduce risk. Think long-term investing is the most effective long-term strategy. The market fluctuates, but over the long term, investments generally trend upwards. Regular investments. Consider setting up automatic investments to make regular contributions to your portfolio. This will build your investment over time and help you benefit from dollar cost averaging, reducing the impact of volatility. Now that you have a foundation in the basics of investing, it's time to delve deeper into choosing the suitable investments for your portfolio. In Chapter 7, we'll explore how to evaluate different investment options and align them with your financial goals. Understanding how to choose investments strategically will empower you to make decisions that best suit your long-term financial needs. Stay tuned to build confidence in your investing abilities and further your path to financial freedom. Chapter 7, Choosing the Right Investments Having introduced the basics of investing in the previous chapter, you now understand that investing is essential for growing wealth and achieving financial goals. But with so many investment options available, how do you choose the right ones for your portfolio? This chapter will guide you through evaluating and aligning investment opportunities with your financial objectives. Assessing your financial goals and risk tolerance. Before making specific investments, you must evaluate your goals retirement, buying a home, or funding education and understand your risk tolerance. Your investment choices should directly support your goals and reflect how much risk you're comfortable taking. Short-term versus Long-term goals investments for less than 5 years of short-term goals should generally be less risky since you'll need the money sooner and won't have time to recover from significant losses. For long-term goals, you can usually afford to take more risk for higher potential returns. Risk tolerance Everyone's comfort level with risk is different. If fluctuations in your investment value keep you up at night, Consider more conservative investment options. 
investment strategies to consider. Growth investments, these are focused on capital appreciation. Stocks or stock funds are typical growth investments, suitable for long-term goals where you can ride out the market's ups and downs. Income investments, designed to provide regular income, might include bonds or dividend-paying stocks. They are generally safer than growth investments and are suitable for those who need steady income or are risk-averse. Balanced funds, these combine both growth and income elements, aiming to reduce risk through diversification while still providing opportunities for return. Evaluating individual investments. Research. Look into the historical performance, credibility of the management team, and investment stability. Consider the company's earnings, growth potential, and industry position for stocks. For funds, look at the track record and investment philosophy. Costs. Be aware of any fees associated with your investments, such as fund management fees, transaction fees, and any other expenses that can reduce your returns. Diversification. Ensure your choices lead to a well-diversified portfolio that spreads risk across various asset classes and sectors. Tools and resources for making investment decisions. Utilize financial news, investment platforms, and financial advisors to gather information and make informed decisions. Online calculators and simulation tools can also help visualize potential outcomes based on different scenarios. With a strategy for selecting suitable investments in place, the next step is planning for one of the most important long-term financial goals, retirement. Chapter 8 will explore how to effectively prepare for retirement, understand various retirement accounts, and develop strategies to maximize retirement savings. Preparing early and wisely can make your retirement years truly golden. Stay tuned to learn how to secure your financial future beyond your working years. Chapter 8 Planning for Retirement Selecting suitable investments is a significant step towards securing your financial future, and an integral part of this planning involves preparing for retirement. Retirement might seem far away, but starting early can profoundly impact your financial security later in life. This chapter will help you understand different retirement savings options and strategies, ensuring you can enjoy your retirement years without financial worry. Understanding Retirement Planning Retirement planning involves setting aside enough money during your working years to cover your living expenses in retirement when you are no longer earning a steady income. Effective retirement planning combines saving, investing, and strategizing to maximize your financial resources for the future. Key Components of Retirement Planning Estimate your retirement needs start by estimating how much you might need to live comfortably in retirement. Consider your current expenses and consider how they might change. Most people need about 70 to 80% of their pre-retirement income to maintain their lifestyle. Understand your time horizon, your age, and the time left until retirement are crucial in planning. The longer the time horizon, the more risk you might be able to take in your investment choices, as you have more time to recover from any market downturns. Retirement Savings Options 401,000 plans offered by many employers. These plans allow you to save a portion of your salary before taxes are deducted. Many employers offer a matching contribution free money towards your retirement savings. Individual retirement accounts IRAs traditional and Roth IRAs offer tax advantages for retirement savings. Traditional IRAs may allow for tax-deductible contributions and tax-deferred growth, while Roth IRAs are funded with after-tax dollars and allow for tax-free growth and withdrawals. Pensions. Fewer companies offer pensions today, but if you have one, understand how it works and what benefits you can expect in retirement. Social Security is a significant part of retirement planning for many. Understand how much you can expect to receive based on your work history and when you plan to start taking benefits. Maximizing your retirement savings. Start early. The power of compounding interest means that starting to save and invest early in your career can significantly impact the size of your retirement fund. Contribute regularly. Make regular contributions to your retirement accounts to build your savings. Max out your contributions, especially if your employer offers matching funds in a 401k. Monitor and adjust your plan. As you approach retirement, it's wise to reassess your investment mix and risk level. Generally, you'll want to shift towards more conservative investments as you get closer to retiring. Now that you have a blueprint for retirement planning, the next chapter will delve into the importance of understanding and managing insurance as a critical component of personal finance. In Chapter 9, 
we'll explore different types of insurance from health to home and auto and why protecting your financial well-being against unforeseen events is essential. Stay tuned to learn how to safeguard your assets and your future. Chapter 9 Understanding Insurance Protecting the assets you're working hard to build is crucial as you shape your financial future. Insurance is pivotal, offering a safety net against unexpected financial setbacks. This chapter will introduce you to the various types of insurance and explain why each is vital to maintaining long-term financial security. The Role of Insurance in Personal Finance Insurance protects you and your family from significant financial losses due to unforeseen events such as accidents, illness, or property damage. It pools risks with others, ensuring financial protection during difficult times. Without insurance, you would be solely responsible for covering any sudden, substantial costs that could severely impact your finances. Types of insurance Health insurance covers extraordinarily high medical expenses, such as those incurred during sickness or injury. It can prevent a medical crisis from turning into a financial disaster. Life insurance provides for your dependents in the event of your death. It's crucial for anyone who has people relying on their income, especially if you're the primary breadwinner. Disability insurance offers income protection if you cannot work due to disability, covering essential expenses until you can return to work. Homeowners and renters insurance protects your home and belongings from damage or theft. Mortgage lenders often require homeowners insurance, while renters insurance is typically optional but highly recommended. Auto insurance is required by law in most places. It covers damage to your vehicle and protects you financially in an accident involving other cars or property. Choosing the right insurance policies Selecting the right insurance involves assessing your personal risk factors and choosing the level of coverage that suits your needs without overpaying. Here are some tips. Assess your needs. Your life stage, family structure, and financial situation will dictate what kind of insurance you need. Shop around and compare policies from different insurers to find the best rates and coverage. Use online comparison tools to simplify this process. To avoid surprises when making a claim, make sure you read the fine print and understand what is and isn't covered in your policies. Review regularly your insurance needs will change over time. Regular reviews will ensure your coverage continues to meet your needs as your life evolves. With a solid understanding of insurance, and its importance in protecting your financial stability, the next chapter will focus on achieving financial goals. Chapter 10 will guide you through setting realistic financial goals, developing strategies to reach them, and adjusting these plans as your circumstances change. This proactive approach will empower you to not just dream about financial success but to plan for it and achieve it. Stay tuned to learn how to set and accomplish your financial milestones, Chapter 10, Achieving Financial Goals With a firm grasp of insurance and how it protects your financial well-being, you can focus on setting and achieving your financial goals. This chapter will guide you through identifying your monetary objectives, planning strategically to meet them, and adjusting your plans as your life circumstances evolve. Setting Your Financial Goals Financial goals vary widely depending on individual circumstances and life stages. They can range from short-term objectives, like vacation savings, to long-term aspirations, such as buying a home or securing a comfortable retirement. The key to successful financial planning is clearly defining these goals and setting realistic timeframes and strategies for achieving them. Steps to set and achieve financial goals. Identify and prioritize goals, list all your financial goals and categorize them as short-term within a year, medium-term for one to five years and long-term for more than five years. Prioritize within these categories based on importance and urgency. Assess your financial situation. Take a comprehensive look at your finances, including income, expenses, savings, and debts. This assessment will give you a clear picture of where you stand and what you need to do to meet your goals. Create a detailed plan. For each goal, develop a specific action plan. Determine how much money you need to save and what adjustments are necessary in your budget. Consider any investments that could help accelerate your progress. Automate savings. Set up automatic transfers to savings accounts dedicated to specific goals. This makes saving more accessible and helps ensure that you stay on track. Monitor and adjust regularly. Regularly review your progress and make adjustments as needed. 
life changes, such as a new job, a change in marital status, or the birth of a child, can affect your financial goals and strategies. Tools for tracking and planning. Utilize financial planning tools and apps to keep track of your progress. These can help you visualize your financial timeline, simulate different scenarios, and adjust your plans dynamically. Common challenges and how to overcome them. Lack of discipline. Staying disciplined can be challenging. Keep yourself motivated by focusing on the benefits of achieving your goals. Unexpected expenses. Always have a contingency plan, like your emergency fund, to handle unforeseen expenses without derailing your financial goals. Inadequate income. If your current income doesn't support your goals, look for ways to increase it through side gigs, career advancements, or retraining. Now that you have a blueprint for setting and achieving your financial goals, the next step is to ensure your financial plans remain relevant and practical. Chapter 11 will explore how to review and adjust your financial plan regularly. This will help you stay on top of changes and ensure your financial strategies align with your evolving life circumstances. Stay tuned to learn how to keep your financial plans up to date and responsive to your needs. Chapter 11 Reviewing and Adjusting Your Financial Plan Having set clear financial goals and begun the journey toward achieving them, keeping your financial plan responsive to changes in your circumstances and the broader economic environment is critical. This chapter focuses on regular reviews and adjustments to ensure your financial plan remains effective and aligned with your evolving goals. Why regular reviews are essential. Life is unpredictable. Changes such as a new job, changes in family dynamics, health issues, or shifts in the economic climate can all impact your financial landscape. Regularly reviewing your financial plan helps you adapt to these changes, avoiding potential setbacks and capitalizing on new opportunities. How to review your financial plan. More straightforward set a regular schedule for reviewing your financial plan. Annual reviews are typical, but significant life events may necessitate more frequent reviews. Assess changes in income and expenses. Update your budget to reflect any changes in your income and expenses. This could result from job changes, inflation, new family members, or other factors that affect your financial flow. Evaluate progress toward goals. Check your progress towards your financial goals. Are you on track? If not, what adjustments can you make to get back on course? Adjust investments. Review your investment portfolio in light of current market conditions, changing risk tolerance, and proximity to your financial goals. This might mean shifting assets to more conservative investments as you near retirement or increasing your investment in certain areas. Update for life changes. Adapt your plan for significant life events such as marriage, divorce, the birth of a child, or the purchase of a home. Each of these events can substantially alter your financial needs and goals. Tools and resources for effective reviews. Financial advisors. A professional financial advisor can provide valuable insights and help you make informed decisions based on your circumstances. Financial planning software. Numerous tools are available to help you track your finances, simulate different scenarios, and visualize the impact of changes on your goals. Common pitfalls to avoid during adjustments. Overreacting to market fluctuations. While it's important to review your investments, avoid making hasty decisions based on short-term market movements. Focus on long-term objectives. Neglecting insurance needs. As your life changes, so do your insurance needs. Regularly review your insurance policies to ensure adequate coverage. Ignoring tax implications. Any significant change in investments or income can have tax implications. Consider these in your financial planning to avoid surprises. With a robust system for reviewing and adjusting your financial plan, you're better equipped to handle whatever life throws your way. In Chapter 12, we'll explore advanced budgeting techniques that can further enhance your control over your finances. These techniques will help you fine-tune your spending and saving strategies, ensuring you maximize every dollar towards your financial success. Stay tuned to learn how to optimize your budget for more economic stability and freedom. Chapter 12 Advanced Budgeting Techniques now that you understand the importance of regularly reviewing and adjusting your financial plan, let's explore advanced budgeting techniques. These techniques will help you fine-tune your approach to managing your finances, ensuring that you maximize the efficiency of every dollar and stay aligned with your evolving financial goals. 
Zero-Based Budgeting Zero-Based Budgeting is a rigorous approach in which every dollar of income is assigned a specific purpose at the beginning of the month. Unlike traditional budgeting, which only adjusts previous spending patterns, zero-based budgeting starts from scratch each month. This method ensures that no dollar is wasted and that your spending aligns perfectly with your current financial goals. The Envelope System This hands-on method involves dividing your cash into envelopes, each labeled for a different spending category, such as groceries, entertainment, or transportation. Once an envelope is empty, you can't spend any more in that category until the next budget cycle begins. This physical separation of funds can be a powerful way to curb overspending. The 50-30-20 rule For a more straightforward approach, the 50-30-20 rule provides a balanced framework. 50% of your income goes to necessities, rent, utilities, and groceries. 30% is allocated to wants, dining out, hobbies, and entertainment. 20% is directed towards savings and debt repayment. This less granular method helps maintain a healthy balance between living your life and financial responsibility. Automation and technology. Use technology to streamline your budgeting. Automate savings to ensure you never miss a contribution towards your goals. Use budgeting apps to track your spending in real time. Set up alerts for when you approach spending limits in any category. Analyzing spending patterns. Review your spending patterns regularly and identify areas where you can cut back without impacting your quality of life. Sometimes, minor adjustments, such as substituting a subscription or reducing discretionary purchases, can free up significant amounts of money. Adjusting for irregular income. If your income fluctuates, such as with freelance or contract work, base your budget on your lowest expected income. Save any extra income in good months to cover you in leaner times. Benefits of advanced budgeting. These advanced techniques can help you. Achieve a tighter grip on your financial flows. Identify waste more effectively. Reach your financial goals faster and more efficiently. Common challenges and solutions. Maintaining discipline. Advanced budgeting requires strict discipline. Keep motivated by regularly reviewing your financial progress and adjusting your goals. Complexity and time. While more complex, the time invested in detailed budgeting can pay significant dividends. If overwhelmed, start small and gradually integrate more complex strategies. Having mastered advanced budgeting techniques, the next chapter will guide you through understanding taxes and finding ways to save on them effectively. In Chapter 13, you'll learn taxation basics and explore strategies to minimize your liabilities, ensuring you keep more of your hard-earned money. Stay tuned to unlock critical insights to enhance your financial literacy and boost your net worth. Chapter 13 Understanding Taxes and Savings After refining your budgeting techniques to optimize your financial management, it's crucial to tackle another significant aspect of personal finance taxes. Understanding how taxes work and learning to manage them efficiently can help you retain more of your income and enhance your savings potential. This chapter will cover the basics of taxation and offer strategies for minimizing your tax liabilities effectively. The Basics of Taxation Taxes are financial charges imposed by governments on individuals and businesses to fund public services and infrastructure. While taxes are unavoidable, understanding their principles can help you make informed decisions that reduce your tax burden. Income Tax Based on the income you earn from various sources, including wages, investments, and business activities. Understanding tax brackets and rates is essential for planning. Capital gains tax applies to profits from selling assets like stocks or property. The rate can differ based on the duration of ownership, with long-term holdings generally taxed at lower rates. Sales taxes are consumption taxes added to the price of goods and services. While these can't be avoided when making purchases, understanding them helps budget planning tax saving strategies. Maximize deductions and credits. Familiarize yourself with tax deductions and credits applicable to your situation. Deductions reduce your taxable income, whereas credits reduce your tax directly. Contribute to retirement accounts. Contributions to retirement accounts like 401ks and IRAs can reduce your taxable income, as these contributions are typically made pre-tax. Use health savings accounts HSAs. If you have a high deductible health plan, 
Contributing to an HSA provides a triple tax advantage contributions are tax-deductible, the money grows tax-free, and withdrawals for qualified medical expenses are not taxed. Invest wisely understanding how different investments are taxed can help you plan your portfolio to minimize tax exposure. For instance, longer-term investments can qualify you for lower long-term capital gains tax rates. Tax loss harvesting. This involves selling securities at a loss to offset a capital gains tax liability. It's a common strategy used in taxable investment accounts. Planning for tax season. Keep good records. Maintain thorough records of income, deductions, and credits throughout the year to simplify your tax filing. Stay informed. Tax laws can change frequently. Keeping up to date with these changes can help you adapt your tax strategies and remain compliant while optimizing savings. Consult tax professionals. Consider consulting with a tax professional to ensure you're taking full advantage of the tax benefits available, especially if you have complex financial situations or significant assets. Common pitfalls to avoid. Underestimating taxes always account for taxes in your financial planning to avoid surprises. Late filing and payments late filing can result in penalties and interest charges. Ensure you meet all tax deadlines. Ignoring local and state taxes. In addition to federal taxes, be aware of any local or state taxes that may apply to you. After you better understand how to manage your taxes efficiently, the final chapter will focus on cultivating financially healthy habits that ensure long-term prosperity and stability. Chapter 14 will explore critical habits that help maintain financial health over your lifetime, providing a foundation for lasting financial freedom and success. Stay tuned to learn how to sustain your financial well-being through effective habits. Chapter 14 Cultivating Financially Healthy Habits You've navigated the complexities of advanced budgeting and tax strategies, setting a solid foundation for financial security. As we conclude this guide, Chapter 14 emphasizes the importance of cultivating habits that sustain your financial health over the long term. These habits will help ensure that your efforts lead to lasting prosperity and economic freedom. Developing Financially Healthy Habits Building healthy financial habits is critical to maintaining your financial well-being. It's about creating routines that ensure you consistently manage your money wisely, even as your financial situation evolves. Live Below Your Means one of the most sustainable financial habits is spending less than you earn. This simple principle helps you avoid debt and accumulate savings. Regular saving makes saving a non-negotiable part of your budget. Treat it like a recurring expense that must be paid each month, automating it to ensure consistency. Investing continuously and regularly can significantly impact the growth of your wealth over time due to compound interest. Stay informed. Keeping up to date with financial news and education can help you make informed decisions and adapt to economic changes. Set financial reviews. Regular reviews of your financial plan help you adjust to changes in your circumstances and the economic environment, ensuring that your strategies remain effective. Importance of financial discipline. Maintaining discipline is crucial in all aspects of personal finance. Whether adhering to a budget, resisting impulsive purchases, or sticking to an investment plan during volatile times, discipline keeps you on track toward achieving your financial goals. Embracing financial literacy. Continuously improve your financial literacy. Understanding financial concepts and how they affect your finances empowers you to make better decisions. Consider attending workshops, reading books, and using online resources to enhance your knowledge. Leveraging technology. Use technology to streamline your financial management. Apps and online tools can track spending, manage investments, and even provide alerts about financial opportunities or risks. Building a support network. Surround yourself with financially savvy individuals. A network of financially responsible friends and advisors can provide support, advice, and motivation to maintain good financial health. Preparing for the unexpected. Always anticipate financial changes and potential emergencies. An adaptable mindset and a well-prepared financial plan can help you navigate unexpected challenges without severe disruptions to your financial stability. Integrating these habits into your daily life will make managing your finances more intuitive and less stressful. Financial freedom is about having ample money and making informed decisions that enable a secure and fulfilling life. 
Thank you for listening. Elevate your learning journey with our channel by subscribing today. Each video we create is designed to challenge, inspire, and enlighten. By subscribing, you ensure you're up to date with the latest content and support our quest to make learning accessible and engaging. Let's explore the limits of what we can achieve together. Be well and thrive.